we're leaving in about 20 minutes and I'm messing with my camera to try to figure out the settings of how to make the quality look better. It is literally so empty here. I got about an hour until my next flight. Good morning. I don't think I even gave an update, but we got our bags back. Whoop, whoop, whoop. <laughs> um, let's see. So today we're going to go to breakfast right now, and then we have to switch hotels, and we are also going to get our nails done, and then eat. Go to eat somewhere. I don't know where we're going to go yet, but I got this whole Uniqlo outfit. Look how cute it is. I got this new bag, this new shirt, new pants. Who is she? It is day three in Seoul, Korea, and we are going to breakfast. We're going to a place called Miltos. So when we get there, I will show you what we're gonna eat. My friend Claire is a dental hygienist, and this is her parents' art gallery. If you haven't heard of Student RDH, she is the creator of that. And so we came to check it out. It's not open, so I have to look from the window. So make sure to check out Student RDH for the board prep and also um, on Instagram. leaving our first hotel we're gonna go get our nails done we have to take all of our luggage with us and then we're going to drop our bags off at the second hotel and we want to try to go to like Korean barbecue today and then there's also like a golf store that I want to go to as well and I'm just really excited to get my nails done right now they have like different monthly like colors and sets that you can pick from so I'm really excited to pick one of the ones that I want I do want to go with like neutral pink pen tones but I still want it to be really to give an update right now I am getting ready because I am going to dinner with the other 
award winners who received the World Hygienist Award in different categories, so things like public health, entrepreneur, academia. Um, I received the new RDH category, so I get to meet everybody tonight. I think there's three people from Italy, another hygienist from Korea, another hygienist from the Netherlands, and then me from the United States. So I'm really excited to meet everybody. Tomorrow is going to be the first day of the um, ISDH, which is the International Symposium on Dental Hygiene, and it basically brings together all dental hygienists from all over the world, and I cannot tell you how excited I am to meet everyone and just see what dental hygiene is like, not only just in the States, but everywhere else as well. Um, the trip has been amazing so far. We got our nails done today, which are super cute. I can't even begin to tell you like the techniques that they used were so cool. And overall, like I'm really into like short nails lately, so I just love the way that they came out. Um, of course, I had to stick with neutral because that's my favorite neutrals and pinks. Um, but yeah, I really like them. And then the weather, I don't want to jinx it, but the weather has been incredible. Um, it is definitely humid here. I've <clears throat> never experienced humidity like this in my life um but we're rolling with the punches and i have like a bunch of um like clothes from uniqlo that are like very thin and like made for um hot weather so it's been just honestly a really amazing trip and i still can't even believe that like i'm here and I am experiencing all of this and I'm being recognized for all of my hard work. It's really, really, um, it's, a, it's just a huge honor and it's so humbling and I just can't believe that my career as a hygienist is what it is at, you know, I'm not even at four years of experience yet. Um, and it's just really cool to be able to represent new dental hygienists and what you can do with your career very early on and all the amazing things that you can do with your career it really is what you want it to be and you know it, it you could do whatever you want if you want to do clinical hygiene if you want to teach if you want to speak if you want to write if you want to be an entrepreneur there are so many options out there you just have to make it happen for yourself so anyways i'm like kind of going off on a little tangent there but i'm just really really thankful to be here today and i'm also really thankful to have a friend here with me experiencing all of this i couldn't imagine going on this trip without her and if you're not following Anshi, the pediatric RDH, I highly recommend following her. She shares really valuable information and is just overall an amazing person. So anyways, I have to go finish getting ready for this dinner. I won't be able to take you along for the ride, but um, hopefully tomorrow I will get some content at the dental conference. Um, I'll try to film as much as I possibly can. It is it is very challenging though, like trying to film not only on my camera, but then also like on my phone too but I'm gonna do my best. Today is day one of the ISDH conference. I'm so excited to take you along with me. We're gonna head down to breakfast and then walk over to the conference center. We're gonna do the opening ceremony and I think a, a couple of continuing education courses. I'm so excited. Last night I met some hygienists from Italy, from Korea, from the Netherlands, and today it's gonna be even more hygienists and also getting to see some of my hygiene friends from the United States. So.
got back to the hotel room after the first day of ISDH and it was honestly amazing amazing 10 out of 10 I got to meet hygienists from Dubai Australia New Zealand Netherlands Italy literally all over the world tomorrow is the World Hygienist Award and I am going to go up on stage and answer two questions and then I will receive the award, take a couple pictures, and then that's it. But it is definitely a lot of not, I just feel, I do feel some pressure because, you know, I want to represent not only the United States, but new dental hygienists from everywhere and show what we are capable of doing early on in our careers and all the things that we are able to do. Um, I do feel, I, I'm so proud and honored to receive this award and I just wanna make sure that I represent it in the best way possible for any other new hygienist who is seeing me on my journey, I just want you to know that we have to strive for excellence and we have to provide our patients with above the standard of care. You know, the standard of care is here, but we need to go above that and continue to advance our profession, broaden our scope, you know, hygienists are capable of so much. We are educated, licensed healthcare providers, and we specialize in prevention and non-surgical periodontal therapy. Like, we are capable of so much more. And getting into this field, I really did just have this idea in my head that everything is already, like, developed and set in stone, but that's not how it is. Our profession is advancing and it's changing and it's improving and that's amazing but we have to recognize that early on in our careers and be part of the change and we need it we need it really really badly in our industry so kind of went off on a tangent there but that's how I'm feeling I am just very passionate about my career about this profession and I care a lot about it and so this award means absolutely everything to me and like like to be honest with you like I just feel like my hard work is really being recognized and that just feels like I can't even tell you like my heart is very very full um it just means a lot like I've I've dedicated a lot of my time to advocating for not only our profession but most importantly our patients um and people you know these are these are patients lives that um hygienists can really improve and make a difference on and if we are advocating and saying that we are prevention specialists like what are we preventing what are you preventing as a healthcare provider um, it's not just about oral hygiene instructions, you know, like it, it goes further than that. We can provide our patients with oral cancer screenings, airway evaluations, hypertension screenings. Like a hygienist role is so unique in the fact that we focus on prevention, not only in the mouth. Um, so anyways, sorry, I am just like seriously rambling, but I am going to get ready for bed. I've been sleeping terribly because I am excited and nervous. Um, so I'm hoping to get a good night's rest tonight. It's like eight, almost 8.30 right now. Um, the award ceremony is tomorrow at 11.45 um, in the morning and I am very, very much excited about it. Um, and I can't wait. So I will have somebody record the award ceremony and hopefully be able to put the whole thing on my YouTube. And I'm so, so, so excited. So thank you so much for your support and following along in this journey. I 
cannot wait. Okay, love you, good night. Passionate dental hygienist with three years of experience. This is my video submission for the Sunstar World Hygienist Award in new RDH category. As a first generation college student, I hold a bachelor's degree in dental hygiene and am currently enrolled in an RDH AP program. I'm committed to excellence and lifelong learning. As the creator of Brush with Brit and a combined following of over 147,000 followers, emphasizing the critical connection between oral systemic health, acting as a mentor for new graduates, and elevating the practice of dentistry. I strive to strengthen the connection between medical and dental integration through interprofessional collaboration. I've written articles for respected publications, hosted webinars, been a guest speaker for dental hygiene schools, and taken to the podium. I have written laws and I aim to be the driving force of innovation and leadership in health I'm one of the leaders in our field. So please welcome from the United States, Britt Gross. Go Britt! Welcome to the stage. Britt, thank you for coming. You won this award in the new RDH category as quickly after your graduation. You became an advocate, an inspiration for both colleagues and patients with your Brush with Brit initiatives. What would be your message to newly graduated hygienists who are looking to also broaden their horizon? Thank you for that question. And also, I want to thank Sunstar for recognizing new dental hygienists and providing us with this incredible opportunity. I'd also like to thank my family, my friends, and every mentor and all the dental hygienists that have supported me thus far. Um, to your question, to broaden our horizons as new dental hygienists, we have to remember that we do not just clean teeth. We're educated, licensed healthcare providers who specialize in prevention and non-surgical periodontal therapy. Dental hygiene school is not the end of our educational journey. It's just the beginning. Broadening our horizons is important and we have to remember to continue our education. Lastly, I would love for every new hygienist to recognize that our profession is constantly advancing and improving. We are the key to medical dental integration. Broadening our horizons means that we are striving for excellence and going above and beyond the standard of care. Thank you. Thank you, Britt. First, I would like to address the elephant in the room. Yes, there are states where dental hygienists can practice independently, as my colleagues who are here from the U.S. know. So. It varies from state to state, but yes, independent practice for dental hygienists is available in certain states. And I know my U.S. colleagues would come up to me afterwards and say, Jill, why didn't you say something? So I'm saying it now. So, Britt, there is what some would say a perception that there's a shortage of dental hygienists in the U.S. And with that said, what are your thoughts on this, and what could help turn this around, in your opinion? The shortage may have to do with dental hygienists dropping out of the workforce for one reason or another, but is there a way, and what is your opinion on how we can turn this around? Thank you for that question, Jill. Um, the shortage of dental hygienists in the United States is a very complex issue. But when we think about the solution, our number one priority has to be to uphold the quality of care that we are providing to our patients without compromising the education of dental hygienists. That's why I believe part of the solution is to advance our profession and give us advanced degree options, which would allow us to work in places like hospitals, schools, nursing homes, mobile and portable dentistry, and even owning our own practice. So I think that we really need to continue our education and broaden our scope. Dental hygienists need more autonomy, a broader scope of practice, and this would increase the access to care without compromising the quality of care that we are giving to our patients and without compromising our education. 
Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Ha, 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 ha.